living rooms, bedrooms, and offices across Sarasota and Manatee County. It's the Peanut Gallery live, and here's your host, Lou. Hi. It's me. Thank you. Are we so excited for this fancy event? I bet we are. Okay, we're going <laughs> to introduce our improvisers today. <laughs> the first one is Lily Maggio. Clap, clap, clap. Casey Berkery. Hello. Casey <laughs> Burr. <laughs> Judah Woomer. <laughs> so this game is called the dating game. Lily is looking for love in all the wrong places, isn't she, Lily? That's true. That's true. And she has gone to a game show to try to find her one true love. Um, the contestants are contestant one, Judah. Contestant two is James. Contestant three is Casey. But they each have one quirk about them that Lily does not know. All right? Something that makes them a little crazy. And so she has to ask questions to try to figure them out. All right? So, Lily, whenever you're ready, you can start. Hello, everybody. One of you will hopefully be my future boyfriend or girlfriend or non-gender specific partner. <laughs> One of the first questions that I'd like to ask you just to get us started is, if for some reason you were stuck at home for an extended period of time, <laughs> I don't know why that would happen, but uh, what would you do to pass the time? Contestant number one. <laughs> well, you see, I have a fascination with Leonardo DiCaprio and in general, cruise lines. It's very fun. Burr. And contestant number two, how would you pass the time if you were stuck at home? Well, I think I would have to do like a lot of physical exercise just because, you know, my favorite hobbies aren't always the healthiest things for me, especially because like when I'm sitting around the house, I don't do as many things as I normally would. So my hobby just like makes it even easier for me to gain weight. Okay, uh, that's fun. Uh, Casey, contestant number three. Well, what I personally, I, I could never see myself as stuck anywhere because I, I always have my little island where I can talk to my friends and collect and go to the beach and it's it's freeing it's liberating it's it's life while you didn't stick to the parameters of the question that is very cute and i'm happy for you uh anyway uh, the second and probably final question that i wanted to ask you guys is um what medium like whether it's TV or painting or music, what artistic medium resonates with you the most? Did you guys get that? Mm -hmm. Okay, contestant number one. You know, big deal films, the big, large, floating objects with an inevitable demise. Oh, I got you. So you're a big fan of the Titanic? You could say that. <laughs> um, Do you feel like you are the physical embodiment of the Titanic? Like, you are the Titanic? Bruh, my heart will go on to you. <laughs> oh my god. Like one of oh mine. Uh, I love that for you. 
I'm waiting. Anyway, uh, contestant number two, what type of artistic medium resonates deepest with you and your beautiful spiritual soul? Well, you see, I really think that food is an art form. You know, it's just, it's so beautiful. It makes me want to have it all the time. I'm just like, oh, even right now, you know, I just, oh, food is so amazing. So what's your occupation then? Are you like a foodie? Are you a secret shopper? Well, not, not quite. You know, I really don't have an occupation. It's just more of like a constant feeling. You're just always hungry. You're an eating enthusiast, you know? Yeah? Well, that's very cool. I think everybody should have hobbies, even <laughs> if they're slowly destroying you. Well, they're and also slowly supporting me at the same time, so. Fair enough, fair enough. Contestant number, contestant number three, what resonates with you? Well, there's a morning announcement show that I watch every morning. My, my friend Izzy does this for, for all my friends. And then uh, my favorite song is probably KK Swing. I just, I don't know. I love the artist's silky, smooth voice. It's almost like computer programmed to be perfectly harmonious. I love it. That's amazing. You know what? I think maybe you love Animal Crossing even more than I do, and that's why you are my chosen partner. Oh, hooray! I'm doing the clap that they well, do. Well, thank you guys. Thank you all so much. You were amazing contestants, and I wish I could take each and every one of you back to my bouncy castle uh, where I have a cotton candy machine. But awesome. sadly, I cannot. Well, that's our show. Ah. Keep an eye on Venice Theater social media and your emails for any updates on rescheduling of performances and keep an eye out for the giving challenge coming up on April 28th and 29th. All right. Um, thank you so much for joining us again. Bye. Say bye, guys. Bye, bye guys. Bye, guys. All right. Thank you. All right. So we're going to play some improv games for you. Um, Judah's going to take a swig of his LaCroix. Um, <laughs> all right, you can Let keep an eye out. Dude, I'm trying to, trying to be on, I'm going to try to do my, <laughs> an eye on, Luke, okay, three. All right, I'm going to go now. I get to be in the game too? You do, you do. You do get to be in the game. All right, does that make sense, audience? Yeah. 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 <laughs>